warning, the maximum number of files handles allowed for Domino is 1024. See the Lotus Techno 1221870. To know how to allocate it, and that's a pretty simple fix. And uh, when I say pretty simple, I mean really, really simple. So let's fire up a browser. Uh, yay, yay, yay! Know your rights. It's the first time we fired this um, as this user. So let's let's what happens if I type in Lotus Tech Note one two two one eight seven zero. This is really really simple. Uh, if you've done any Linux installations ever, you you dealt with this. Look at this IBM message maximum file handles. Yep, that's exactly what our problem is. Let's go take a look at that. And the instructions uh, are right here on how to deal with it. They're really it's really not complicated. Let me adjust this slightly so I can, you know what, here, just do that. There we go. So here's the instructions on how to deal with it. Warning, we're getting this. We come down. Here's our instructions. Because we're starting, in this case, we're starting Domino from a login session, we're going to follow these ins instructions. Um, and then there's a second if you're starting it automatically through etc slash initd. What this means is, say you, you've done some more advanced stuff with your Domino server, um, more advanced than I'm going to demonstrate and you've set up uh, an install script or excuse me a, a configuration script so that whenever your Linux server boots your Domino server automatically uh, signs the, the appropriate ID signs in automatically and the Domino server starts automatically and there's no password no anything you don't have to do anything it's hands-off uh, a great resource for that is Daniel Nash's website sorry Daniel sending people at you and um, he wrote a script a long, long time ago, and it has become the de facto script for everybody to use. So, how do we do this? How do we follow these instructions? It's pretty simple. Simple. We're going to um, edit this file, etc security limits uh, We're going to edit these files and change these settings. Let me see if I can make that. Ooh, look! I can make that nice and big. Now, for you following along at home. Go look at your own tech note and read it yourself. It's it's pretty easy. Again, it's uh, IBM tech note. What the heck is the tech note? There we go. IBM tech note one two two one eight seven zero. I hope I need this out of my face in order to do this. And um, what we're going to do here is we don't need this screenshot at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and quit my Domino server. Open another terminal while that's doing its thing, and um, actually, let's let's go ahead and use this. Let's navigate the file system instead. If you recall, we're supposed to go to the ect slash security slash limits. So here from the root, we'll go find ect, and we'll find uh, slash security. Oops, blah 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 blah. security and we're supposed to limit uh, edit the limits.conf file but you'll notice the access pam group limits.conf file cool so open this with get it g e d i t stands for graphical editor we're going to edit this it's really really simple um, right down here here's some demonstrations about how to do stuff and what I want to do here is uh, type in D-O-M-S-R, uh, excuse me, is not the right idea. This is notes, because notes is the user that will run the Domino server. So uh, D-O-M-S uh, notes, soft, and no file, and for number of files, two zero. 000, 000, 20,000 uh, notes hard no file uh, 
little easier, a little nicer to read. And we're going to go ahead and uh, save that. I can't save it. Do you know why? Do you know why? Close without saving. Why can't I save it? Gee, Devin, why can't why can't you save that? Because I was stupid. Because I'm trying to edit this, but I'm signed in as the notes user. I don't have the rights to edit that. So let's just open this in a terminal. And let's do this the angry way. SG for super user, uh, uh, super user's password. CD space slash ETC slash security LS. See there, right there is limits.conf. Right there. I'm going to edit that. <clears throat> now I'm going to edit it by invoking my graphical editor program. I'm not going to invoke B because. I'm not one of the you're insane kind of people. Wow, what is this? Blah 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 blah. I don't even know what that is. That's crazy. Uh, cancel. Don't have any idea what just happened. So here we are. We're gonna come back here and we're gonna try this again. Apparently that's some. Failed a contact configuration server, blah, 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 blah. I don't have any idea why it just did that, and I don't care. Oh, because they're at a blank space in there, I guess. I don't know. I really, I, I don't know enough about Linux to tell you what that error was or why it occurred. All I know is I now have this limits.conf uh, file that I can go ahead and edit. D is, is there. You notice I have a limits.conf and a limits.conf with a tilde. That tilde was, was created as a, as a temporary placeholder for when I was editing it. I don't need it anymore, so I'm just going to um, DEL is not the command, it's RM for remove. Yes. There. Much happier. In order for these limits to be respected, um, we have to edit uh, the appropriate PAMD login file. But the instructions don't tell us where we can find the PAMD login file. And I'm going to show you. So we're just going to. So we are at etc, and you'll see there's a directory there called pamd in etc. So off of the root slash etc, that's where we're at. There's this directory there called pamd, and if I change to that, you'll see there's a file in here called login. Lm, uh, there it is, login, and that is. The file that we're going to edit that the instructions don't tell us really where it is so it takes a little hunting to find it uh, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to edit it the same way now you notice remember once again i'm still signed in as root here because i super user this so just like that we get that same warning it comes up here's some instructions yay and right here i'm just going to add this right down here session Slash lib. M L I M I T S dot S L. Okay, so there's that. And session required slash lib slash security slash pam underscore limits dot S L. Okay, I'm I'm happy with that. 
we're going to go ahead and save that and we're going to exit now we're back to here and i'm going to type in exit and i'm going to type in exit now i can't just restart this at this point and the reason why is because those those limits are only respected after login so what i need to do is log out my notes user and then i'm going to come back and log back in in just a second as soon as it gives me the option to come back in and here's my option screen popped right back up so i'm going to go back in log in back as notes i'm going to type in notes get my enter key and we're going to log back in and here we are and now i'm going to start the domino server and notes And look, it's just starting up. It's happy. Yay, it's happy. Okay, cool. That's that's going on. We're good with that. Um, we're still going to get that other issue, um, this issue here, regarding um, some of the problems that we're having uh, with the listener task for, and that's my SMTP server listener is, is failing there. Bind sock failure. Bind sock is missing. No, not an executable, not owned by root. It's a really misleading issue, uh, or in, in message, whatever you want to call it. It's quite misleading as to what the real problem is. Uh, and so I need to show you how to fix that. But as you've probably already guessed, the way I'm hinting, that's in the next video because, again, I've run out of time. So thank you again very much for joining me on this series. Uh, my name is Devin Olson. Bye-bye.